Hi, good morning, Jay here. I'm uh, just gonna showcase my newest uh, custom scratch build uh, 112 scale vehicle. This is a Corbra vehicle. I call it the Corbra Hognose, named after the, the short nose, short faced snake, the Hognose snake. Um, it's intended as a recon, long range reconnaissance patrol vehicle. Um, I imagine it being like a desert vehicle, kind of like the World War II um, SAS vehicles used in Africa and, and the Arab Peninsula. Uh, I love the way the angles came out. It's not really based on any one vehicle. It's kind of a combination of a whole bunch of different armored scout cars from World War II. And they're still used today. Same, things like the ferret and things like that. Uh, man, I just love the angles of this thing. Um, just kind of showing you all 360 of the, of the vehicle, some of the uh, details. The canopy is one whole piece. It's not separate like my last vehicle, so it doesn't come apart. Um, I really love the color scheme, the black and red. I hope it goes really well with the, the hiss, the HasLab hiss when, whenever it gets here. You can see inside, I painted it red. It was originally all black in there, but I went back and repainted it red. And man, it just came out really well. I just love the way it pops and the way it looks in there. Um, the tailgate's open and shut, and it looks really good whenever you first open it. And you can see a little bit of detail in there. Uh, unfortunately, since this is all one solid piece, unlike my last one, there's a lot of detail in there that is really hard to see without the right angle. But that's okay. I think it kind of adds to the realism of the, the vehicle in general. Um, the turret moves 360. These hatches on the storage compartments on the side open and close, and so does the hatch at the top. You can see a little more detail right there. The windows are transparent and are tinted red. Um, I got the idea by looking at the HasLab uh, hiss. And notice one of the canopies variants has a, a tinted window. Um, the storage compartments were initially going to be extend out from the roof, just solidly extend out like two, two extra sides. And there's going to be some bench seats on there and possibly a door uh, on one of the sides. But I just kind of changed it up. Actually, a whole bunch of things that changed from my first initial concept to the final uh, product, the final design, I guess. And they open and close and they're secured uh, through, through friction. Um, so is the top hatch. It's, that one's a little hard to close. I may need to sand it down, but it's, it's, they just got pressed down on it. Uh, and then the, the two tailgates as well. You can close them and they pop right into place and just held in with friction. I was going to have some little rails on the side that you could uh, plug in the, the Viper backpacks so they have their packs hanging off from the side. And I might still add that. I kind of want to add more to the bumper and underneath the car, but kind of got trying to get myself in the habit of just getting a project to where it needs to be and then just being happy with it and just letting it be finished instead of because I you, and otherwise you could you could keep on adding and, and perfecting this forever really in any 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 project um but yeah I went ahead and made a a a file card for this thing which I'll show shortly and it's not very big the vehicle in general the wheels move independently here you can see the fifth wheel the spare wheel uh has this little um peg that it plugs into held securely and then it has a bracket on the front that it slides into so it can be removed come apart and the 50 cals as I showed earlier can be removed as well and it, it moves 360 on the turret as well as the actual 50 cal swivel and it can move up and down as well um the vehicle itself is not very heavy and is very small compared size comparably comparison to other vehicles um, it's not much bigger than Serpentor's uh, chariot um, Hasbro could easily make something like this and not have it be a you know four hundred dollar Haslab thing. I mean, this could easily go for fifty, sixty bucks. It's not much bigger than some of the uh, one eighteen scale eighties figures or, or vehicles. And here you can see it just weighed three point six pounds, so it's not very heavy at all. Uh, again, it rolls independently. It's strong. It's made of plastic hard, so this thing is actually tougher than you know the vehicles you had you were playing as a kid in the eighties. And here you can see a size comparison to the Sentinel, Marvel Legends, Valiverse, Black Series. There's that Snow Speeder. That's a 112th scale, and it's not much it's smaller than that. Uh, here's the actual follow card that I made. It turned out pretty good, I think. It's got a lot more information on it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I really hope you have a good day.